for business today. We are tackling the ins and outs of credit score improvements with our financial guru and my friend Colin Evans from Evans Financial Group. Well, Colin, this is the first question I have for you. It is simple, but how can consistently paying your bills on time impact your credit? Tell us about pros and cons. They're, they're, they see those. Those credit reporting agencies get to see when you pay that stuff on time. And that is a big factor on that credit score. You want to make sure that stuff gets done. And not only does it have to do with just like credit card bills, this has to do with your mortgage, your, you know, your car insurance, your homeowners, the uh, electricity, the cable, all that stuff matters when those things are late. That's some things that are going to start affecting what that credit scoring could be. So that is one of the big key things to pay attention to if you want to look at elevating and bumping that credit score up just a little bit. Great. So what other tips do you have for those seeking to boost those credit scores? One of the, one of the big ones also out there is keeping in mind what they call your credit utilization ratio and that utilization ratio is where you want to keep what they call under 30 percent and what they mean by that is how much credit has have you been granted and how much of it do you have you used so say you have a just keep things simple a credit card that has a ten thousand dollar limit they want you to stay under a 30 percent ratio meaning stay under three thousand dollars spent because that's what can look good and help out with that credit scoring that you're not completely maxing those out and trying to use the full amount and kind of stretching and spreading yourself thin. That's something that your creditors are going to look at when it goes into applying for a car or maybe you know a new mortgage or something along those lines. This is where the credit score is really going to help you out and making sure that you get the best rate that are actually possible. I feel like credit is just so incredibly important um, and you can start building that at a very young age. You can, you can. And and, you know, one of the things too, it's you actually, you need, you're allowed to get a free credit report every single year through uh, your Equifax, your TransUnions. Um, that's something that we highly encourage that you, people take care and they monitor it so they can Tell pay attention. Tell us about attention. the importance of monitoring it, Colin. Uh, so you can look for stuff that's, uh, you know, out of the norm. We see a lot of the um, scams that are going on today or people opening accounts in other people's names. Uh, LifeLock mm -hmm. is a Very great nice. one to help, you know, monitor those things. I typically use American Express for most of my uh, purchases um, that I use. However, that card's been taken advantage of about seven times, which blows my mind. You know, that could just be from- You calling? Well, just, maybe just everyone's trying to get in your wallet. <laughs> maybe so, it's, it's watching your wallet, right? That's and right. LifeLock was, and life lock was, there and they go. happen <laughs> to be watching mine. When it pops up on my phone, it says, is this your charge? Now, do you actually check your credit score once a year too? I do. I actually do have my stuff. I do have my own personal stuff, life locked, as well okay. as my daughter's. Um, okay. And that's a, uh, that's a very, very good thing to keep in mind, too. Um, a good tip, and this is something that can actually help uh, for parents that are wanting to help their kids with their kids' credit scores, is get your child a credit card. Now, I'm going to say that lightly. Then when the card All comes right. in, go put that in the safe or go hide that. Don't actually give it to them. Um, but when doing that, that can actually tie that into your own credit card billing and their social security number will be tying that and they're seeing that new payments that are being age. made consistently and boom, by the time your kid gets out of high school or even college, however you decide to start that, they have a 600 plus credit score. Which is great, which is great. And that's what we want, right, Colin? Like we're talking about credit scores, but it's very important. We're always talking about budgeting, uh, but credit scores are very important. And there's things that we can do as parents for our young kids to start getting them on that right path of learning how to deal with, with money, right? Because that's, that's vital. We see how many people that are in debt, right? In early 20s as well, 30s. Absolutely. And, you know, and that's, you know, it's, I still am consistently reminded, and this is something I, I talk about almost once a week with uh, credit cards and actually being diligent with that, is something my dad told me a long time ago. He said, whenever you get a credit card, this is, you know, I was probably 19, 20 years old in college. He said, do not put these two things on it. Do not put food and do not put the clothing on it because you're hungry and then you're out of gas. There you, you know? go. There you go. I like it. Well, you know, I'm always a big fan of Dave. Uh, thank you so much, Colin, for being here today and for talking to us about credit scores. Absolutely.